uh, they've complained that it's still 40, 60, depending on the topic, uh, percentage of uh, their guidelines are not adopted. Well, they need to look back at themselves and see what these guidelines are easy and clear enough to follow. And if, as long as they're, uh, as much as they're clear in the secondary prevention for prevention of second heart attack, I can guarantee you they're not clear for prevention of first heart attack. We know what to do when a patient comes in with a chest pain or SC elevation or very high um, enzyme, but we don't know what to do with a patient who comes in with borderline cholesterol and uh, a slight uh, 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 level of high risk factors which put them in an intermediate and most often it's viewed as not so important. In fact, we're getting most of heart attacks from that very population that's called intermediate. So I think this guideline was a giant step to, to address that. At least take the barrier from the path that shape was on to go out and raise awareness.